Now we also have some new items, and, and I love how there's just so much stuff that lurks beneath the surface, but the trailers and even the updates themselves don't tell you. You kind of have to just suss it out. You gotta like dig through the sand. You gotta pull up your scarab beetle horns and be like, they didn't give us Brewster and we swallowed a lot of salt. It really made me sneeze and it really made me pout. That doesn't rhyme because I'm not Zach. I'm the scarab. Okay. Freaking Brewster, man. I want to smash my Brewster mug. The big update is just a day away, but there's so much lurking beneath the surface. Today, we have to explore everything you don't know about the Ripper about the winter update 1.6 there's more than six super sweet things including some things that are going to dramatically change up my youtube format a new live stream format based on this update and the mechanics that they're introducing here stuff you probably didn't know we're going to go through it what's going on everybody hope you had a fantastic day and i'm pumped for this update smash that like button let me know which of these hidden things you like most and let me know if you're also a little bit salty okay i love you anyways i love nintendo anyways Still love my boy anyways, but, uh, you know, it's getting a little weird and wild. Let's go to the first thing that I want to show you about. Okay, take a peek. Save data transfer has been something people have wanted for a long time. And I love that Nintendo has detailed how this is going to work. It's going to be available on November 19th, and you can transfer your whole save file to another island or just a player. And I think this is really important to highlight. And these graphics are done by the wonderful 8-Bit Bish over on Instagram. Link to them in the description down below. I love the way they organize the info, so I wanted to show it to you this way. But basically, you can transfer just one person. And this is huge for families, siblings, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend teams. One person's like kind of done playing with another person, they want their own adventure, they get their own copy of the game, especially the holidays. They get their own Switch, they get their own game. You can just transfer not only the single player, but also their belongings. So if someone's been working hard on your island, is sort of a cooperative partner, but they want to take all of their own stuff and their character over, they can. I think that's really great. Plus, you can save transfer the entire island if that's important to you. But I love that you can do just one person and bring all of their belongings. Right, Chuckles? Right. All right, we also have this one here, which is pretty nifty. This was shown off in the Japanese blog, and this is gonna mess with and change, and I think improve my live streams with you. Villager hunts are fantastic, but they're running a little thin in the skin if you get my drift. You know we have seen so many of the same people, and you can do it for hours, but it goes... This one allows us to now visit random dreams. So Luna has a new option where you can visit a random DA without needing the full-on code, and this is gonna be so fun. We're gonna start live streaming just going to random islands and seeing if we get crap or castles, and I think that'll be really fun. Maybe we should call it Crap or Castle. That's my new game show, join in. Um, so this was part of New Leaf, but now it's back here, and I think it's really important, because it's fun to go to dream addresses from other players and they can't be there, but the, the big win of dream address, why Luna is like an important character, and why this was something Dream Suites were fun in past games, is because you could just spin the wheel roll randomly and see what you get and now maybe you'll find some inspiration maybe you'll find something laughable maybe you'll find something amazing maybe you'll stumble upon a youtube round this is going to be great and i cannot wait to roll the roulette pull the lever throw our luck to the lottery and see what we get so stay tuned for new live streams coming your way now we also have some new items and, and i love how there's just so much stuff that lurks beneath the surface but the trailers and even the updates themselves don't tell you, you kind of have to just suss it out you gotta like dig through the sand you gotta pull up your scarab beetle horns and be like they didn't give us brewster and we swallowed a lot of salt it really made me sneeze and it really made me pout that doesn't rhyme because i'm not zach i'm the scarab okay freaking brewster man i want to smash my brewster mug northern hemisphere aurora wallpaper and winter solstice sweater are coming on december 1st to Northern Hemisphere players, and to not be forgotten are the Southern Hemisphere players who have the weirdest toy day in the wilderness. Um, it's not rootin' and tootin', it is sunny. And that seems so strange, but they at least get a sunflower crown and a sunflower rug from December 1st. I like that. Now, there's more items available starting on the 26th. This is after Christmas, until New Year's Eve. We've got Sparkling Cider, which you can see them holding a little bit of a... I mean, it's not champagne, but kind of looks like it. 12 grapes, love that item. Uh, the Berliner and the Toshikashi Soba. So we got some new food items, and it honestly seems like dishes and food are playing a big part in the new item dump. I don't believe that cooking is going to get any bigger of a role than what we've seen with Franklin. It's very odd to me that Franklin only wants pumpkins, and I assume that he wants more. I would not be surprised if when 1.6 hits on November 19th that we will see, you know, some, some more uh, farming crops added in. It would not surprise me. It might not happen, but it's very odd that there aren't more crops after introducing farming last update, and now they've got nothing here. And I have to imagine that Franklin will want something more than pumpkins, unless he's just making pumpkin pie and pumpkin soup 
and I don't know, he got hypnotized by Jack during Halloween, and he's got a full-on pumpkin diet. Maybe pumpkin spice, but we don't have spice, and we definitely don't have lattes. So those would be at the roost. Okay, still nice to get those three items on December 26th. Now we also have four very interesting items. One being that I want to highlight the Pocket Camp phone case. Now to celebrate the anniversary of Pocket Camp, they're delivering a Pocket Camp phone model, it says. Now some people are interpreting this as just a case and some people are interpreting it as a new phone. I don't think there'll be any new features, but how sweet would it be chef's kiss if the entire phone interface looked different once you got the Pocket Camp phone case. That would be remarkable and utilize this item as more than just a window dressing skin swap. I'd love if it did do something different or look different. I know it's not going to do anything different. I can keep my fingers crossed that maybe at least the background, the wallpaper will look different, but most likely it's just going to be different in your hand, especially now that we have the take a photo reaction. Um, this will come into play much more often. Now we have the Yule Log, which is kind of nice. It looks very, very, very chocolatey. And um, I've seen these made in the Great British Bake Off quite a bit, and they look just delightful. Also, um, if you celebrate, uh, you know, any other holiday, maybe this can come into fun use for you. The TP makes me think of a summer in Cabana, but apparently it's a winter TP where you go and freeze to death. I don't know. I'm not really sure why the TP is being associated with Toy Day and Christmas, but okay, it looks fun and I love the aesthetic. And now, if you want tents but don't have friends, or you want tents but don't want to deal with other players, or you want tents but you don't like the campsite and bringing in random villagers, or you want tents but the campsite is randomly filled and it's just not part of your overall aesthetic, now you can have teepees. And I would love to see cabanas eventually, but I guess this is as close as we're going to get. The pillow arrangement is choice, um, and I think they look nice. Now there's also more items, and we'll have to see, like, do we require a new crafting ingredient? Because all of these items, I assume they're craftables, and they'll probably just require fall stuff, right? Like all of these Thanksgiving turkey day type items, um, I assume we'll just need mushrooms or, or pine cones or wood, I, I don't know, or if there's going to be a new ingredient, and that's what has me think there might be a new um, farming crop, because I think that some of Franklin's stuff or some of this new these new items that are going to be introduced because of Franklin will require a new ingredient. I don't think they're just going to be like, oh, I hope you save maple leaves, oh, I hope you see, save stuff from, you know, the, the summer, like, I don't, that doesn't seem like them. And it could be, or maybe they're all purchasable, but I think there's a chance we get a new uh, ingredient. But those are cool new items. I'm excited to have them in store. Also, we get a new update in January that doesn't have Bruce, or maybe it does. I don't know. The phone app is getting updated to have a catalog, which is nice. So it'll catalog all the items. You can keep track of what you got, what you don't got. This is something that players have requested. Nintendo, honestly... For the complete lack of Brewster and the complete bummer that that is, they address quite a few things, right? The storage upgrade is substantial. The sitting and the new reactions are substantial. The hair inclusion is really nice and really smart, and, and I really respect that about them. Um, and, and even if Turkey Day and Toy Day look a little bit lackluster and a little boring, they are also updating the phone app to have a catalog, and I know people have wanted kind of a catalog. Now, a few smaller things that you might have missed uh, in this update trailer are right here. The stockings on the wall. Should I choose a stocking? Should I chug salt? Should I chase Brewster since he won't ever arrive? Should I cha la 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 I don't know what he's about to say, but I do know the stockings on the wall are very, very cute. Now, the little tree behind him might seem like a new item, but it's not. We do have, though, a nifty, nifty little um, set here, which I really like. Uh, let's see if we can get this update on screen properly. Hey, I didn't ask for you to come back, TP even though I do like the TP and I do like that phone, but I do like this as well. This present stack in front of the tree here You'll notice later on in the video uh, also is a different color because this is a customizable new stack of presents and it's quite large. This is like, holy cow, your parents hit it big, your dad's bonus was really nice, and um, they got, you know, I don't know, a, a little bit of uh, zest and zeal for the holiday season. Their spirits were risen and they really were amped up to go buy you a PS5, a uh, new pro controller, the clothes you wanted, and a subscription to freaking Nintendo Power. That's a lot of presents. I like it a lot. And earlier in the trailer, um, you have seen that in front of Rolf. Um, it is much more of a uh, an icy blue theme color scheme. So this is going to be a customizable uh, present stack, which I really, really appreciate. And that should do it for a lot of the secrets in this trailer. Like I said, there's oftentimes more than even we see in the trailer. And the patch notes will let us know. So make sure to come back. Tomorrow I'll be covering the update and all of its glory. We'll play a bunch of it, see what all is introduced on the 19th specifically, because it's still kind of unsure. You know, we know that Turkey Day um, and we know Toy Day are off in the distance. 
And they should add the Luna stuff right away, so that's going to affect our live streams immediately, which will be fun. And then, you know, these items that hit December 1st, December 26th, things of that sort, what all will be in there on the 19th besides save data transfer and Luna's new option? I'm not so sure, but I would think Nintendo maybe puts one or two things to kind of celebrate the last big update of the year. We'll have to wait and see. I hope you guys are doing fantastic, staying safe, staying healthy, staying smart out there. Make sure to be extra, extra careful with your health and those of your friends and family and just random strangers. Remember, it's so important to care about everybody around you. It's kind of the point of humanity. And if you're just being selfish and stubborn, maybe take a look and see if the holiday spirit and this delicious update can take you to a more positive place and one where you care about others because, like, that's the way to be. It's the nicest thing. If you're going to do anything, you know, please, please be good to other people. Everybody needs it so much this year and everybody needs it so much right now. We're about to hit the happiest time of the year. So let's be happy and spread that goodness. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button. Let me know what you're excited for of these new hidden features in the comments down below. I'll see you tomorrow on the new videos. Until then, though, everybody, have a fantastic rest of your day. Switch Force, out.